morning guys saturday morning fully charged and balanced have you ever taken apart one of these batteries these lithium iron batteries here for your tools you will find a lot of things you already know like the bms and the with the power mosfets on it and little buzz bars and balance leads to all the different cells quite interesting actually I was reading your comments this morning about the cabinet and the fans I put in. So thank you very much for all your positive feedback <laughs> and comments. Really enjoy reading them. And also thank you to all your emails you are sending me with your project details. And it's always interesting to see what other people are doing. Yeah, so thank you very much for all your support here on the channel, really. And well, I. I don't want to don't want to make any advertising and I'm not not begging for money or anything like this but some people have asked how to support me on the channel here I said well don't just don't that's fine it's just what I'm doing here and it's it's my spare time and it's my fun and everything I've put I've put a link on my website all the way down at the bottom so if you want to buy me a beer or something i really appreciate that but it's really not necessary but some people want to do that and some people already have now so i just mentioned it once here on the channel and that's it so thank you very much for your support <laughs> it is greatly appreciated and keeps me definitely going especially when i can buy a beer from time to time <laughs> beer is expensive down here all right i've got all my tools here now in the box and i'm continuing working here on the roof setting up these rails yeah I'm not doing a time-lapse that is just too boring okay I'll get this all done and talk to you later oh we just had a small shower coming through but now sunny hot Australia again well it's April you know you got this weather then all right so I think I'm done with my rail system here for stage two got everything mounted I hope it's all correct and I think I found a spot already where to go through the roof here my system and this is exactly I think here exactly here but I'll double check from inside the garage because I can see where these longer screws coming through and these are all shorter ones and I think it's this one here where I have to go through I don't know it's a bit hard to see on the camera maybe uh, this is where the longer screw comes out you may be able to see that these are the shorter ones and this is the longer one and I go one further this way because now I can use my step drill from above and drill a hole nice in the center of this of this hump put the conduit in and it's ready it's done sounds like a plan one two three shall we do a little pilot hole just to see if we are right i think over here is perfect uh, probably over here so this will be under the solar panel again uh let's give it a go come on andy come on andy you can do it Okay, let's have a peek from inside. <laughs> See there, this is where the long screw comes through from our support. And we went one further. So there should be a hole. <laughs> there it is. There's our hole, perfect. That's where we come through. Conduit all the way along this beam down. Bam. And here comes my favorite tool. Link down below. <laughs> I just had a thought. Okay, so the original plan was to cable every string individually down from the roof 
to the electrical cabinet with the solar charge controller in it. So positive negative from this string going down, positive negative from this string going down and the same over there. But then I need roughly about 50 meters of cable, probably not 45 meters of cables. And to be honest it's not really necessary because each of these strings will have only 5 amps, I think 5.2 amps maximum. Yeah, I think it's 5.6 short and 5.2 on in the maximum power point. So a 4 millimeter cable running from here down there to the charge controller with to carry 5 amps only. That is ridiculous, right? I mean, we can we can easily push 30 amps through a 4 millimeter cable without problem but five, that's a waste of cables. So what I will do instead, I will cable everything four millimeters from here from the roof, down in the roof, and there I will have a junction box. So I will parallel all these three strings in the junction box, and then go from there with one four millimeter cable all the way down to the charge controller. Because three strings, five amps each, 15 amps maximum on full sun, maybe 18 and this is totally fine for a four millimeter cable this is my thought may change <laughs> okay i've got two end clamps already here i don't think i can wait until tomorrow at least I need to try. <laughs> just one, just one. Just to see if it fits. Ow. And they are 50 millimeters smaller as the other one, so we all know what 50 millimeters is now, right? Okay, so we have so we have 44.5 volts open circuit and the short current is 5.6 amps and the maximum power current is 5.3 amps. 16 kilos weight. That's nothing. Ah, shit, the camera. The camera is in the way. Got it. I got it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh God. Oh. Hey, it was easy. Okay, I'll wait until tomorrow. Yeah, it is a bit of waste. I cannot use utilize this base anymore here. And I tried all directions if I put them this way. I cannot fit two in a row in here as well. It would go over the gutter here, which is not too much of a deal because I've got this roof here anyway, but uh, it's just too tight. So I leave it like this, but I start from the top. So one, two or three panels here, the same setup as over here. So I've got two panels up here, but it's, it's too hard, even with a glove. It's just it's 16 kilos on one hand, and then you have then you have to lift it over this corner here. And I cannot really. It's not. It's all right. Wait until tomorrow. I'll just get some clamps here to secure these ones, and then we are good to go. Oh, we're getting another storm. More rain incoming. All right. See you tomorrow. I cannot believe I need three days to make one video. That's insane. I'm uh, using, using the time wisely until the kids are coming tomorrow. And I've got all the cabling done already. So from there goes the conduit. And I kept it separate from the other power cables there. Just a uh, 15 millimeter, 150 millimeter gap in between and there's our junction box there's our cable coming in from the outside world and then this one is connecting here 
and we will have all the strings in parallel connected and then these two wires here go over to our charge controller inside the enclosure it's raining outside anyway it's good there's no free time here in the off-grid garage there's always something to do somewhere yeah, i've just um of course there's nothing connected inside i just pushed the cables inside the conduit which comes from the roof just to give you an idea how it looks like so this is our so all the three strings from the west roof coming in here and we connect positive and negative to the four millimeter cable going in this conduit all the way down i forgot the feeling i've said this before oh yeah here they are it is perfect they're perfectly lining up i'll leave them oh the inverter is humming doesn't like these fluorescence lights here yeah, yeah as always i'll leave them in a loop and then connect them to the second circuit breaker here to the isolator and then from here we go all the way down to the other what is it charge controller it is it's a charge controller yes <laughs> nice okay i stop working now well i could actually keep working on the cabinet now right connect all the cables to the circuit breaker and then mount the solar charge controller get this all installed in there until tomorrow morning and then monday we probably have time to install the strings cabling the strings on top of the roof and get the cables inside the garage here to the junction box and then connect string after string and then we are done and then we've got another 1.7 kilowatts of solar on the roof i need more solar then i need to have a look online what's available and get some other bargains yeah it's time to pick up more solar definitely In. Second charge controller is in. Hey, by the way, these fans they don't make any noise at all. Come on, they're computer fans. We use them since the 70s. They don't make any noise at all. Nothing. And where's my favorite cable? There it is. Just <laughs> That is heavy. Yes, that's my favorite cable. Nice. All right, guys, everything is cabled up now. Second circuit breaker from the west roof. Positive, negative coming down here. I didn't bother with cabling anything because we need to replace these Jeez. need to replace these uh, red wires here anyway with flexible ones and then I do the proper cabling so it's all connected now positive negative going in positive negative going into the breaker here 40 amp breaker two hour bus bars and we should be able to turn it on and just check again positive goes to positive negative goes over here yeah. so this should turn on our second charge controller. It does. There we go. I need to flash this with a custom firmware Victron gave me because of the lock up problem I had with the uh, 15035 from Victron. If you haven't seen my community post on my channel, uh, Victron has invited me to join the developer forum with developers of course developers and programmers of Victron and some other testers around the world who actually test custom built firmwares so whenever Victron gets a bug reported or something they build a new firmware and these testers they get to uh, install these firmware on their devices and see if the bug actually is fixed and I'm now one of these testers so thank you Victron for inviting me for this awesome forum and I have to uh, flash now this one with the custom firmware they gave me. Uh, this one is not official yet, so I'm probably one or two steps ahead to the official firmware at the moment. We are still testing it. So far, I didn't have any lockups anymore. 
but um, this is only a couple of days ago since I had the last lockup with the old original firmware. Since I got the modified custom firmware installed, no lockups anymore, but time will tell. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it right now because I haven't prepared a cable yet to update the firmware. So let's turn it off for the moment. Leave this one off until we get the solar panels installed tomorrow and cabled on Monday. And then I have to talk about these cables anyway and what awesome stuff you can do with that. All right, guys, so far then, uh, see you tomorrow.